Before Peter was Peter, mm -hmm. he was Simon. Yeah. And if you research that name, Simon, mm -hmm. it comes from a Hebrew word that means to listen and obey. And when I think about the characteristics of Peter, a lot of times when we talk about Peter, we see his imperfections, we see his mistakes, how he cut off somebody's ear and how Jesus had to put him uh, in place and, and, and tell him that the devil desired to sift him as wheat. We see how he, he denied Jesus three times, but Peter was a great example for us. Because in Peter, we can see how God can take a nobody yeah. and make him somebody. Right. And in this gospel message that Peter preached here in Acts chapter 2, God was able to do that yes, because Peter listened and obeyed God. Yeah. Yeah. And preachers, I truly believe if we keep a humble spirit yeah. and always make sure we listen and obey God, that we can truly speak with the tongue of God. Because Peter was empowered by the Holy Spirit. And I truly believe that when we have that humble spirit, because you know, as, as preachers, when you, uh, don't, every amen is not a good amen. <laughs> because sometimes people say amen when they trying to get at their husband or their wife and trying to make a point. So I believe it's important for us as preachers to understand that it's not about the amens. It's not about the pats on the back because if you preach the word of God, every Sunday everybody ain't going to like you. If you preach the word in season and out of season, when you reprove, you rebuke, and you exhort with all long-suffering and doctrine, there are going to be some Sundays where you're going to feel like you all by yourself. But if you remember a man by the name of Peter, whose name was Simon, and how God used that same man mm -hmm. to preach that great gospel sermon mm -hmm. that saved so many people. Right. And I truly believe if God could do it with Simon Peter, that he can do it with Anthony Campbell. Yeah. Right. If God could do it with Simon Peter, he can do it for you also. Yeah. So preachers, don't get discouraged. Stay humble and let God use you to speak with the tongue of God. Thank you.